Welcome back to Let's Read Judge Dredd. In today's episode is Necropolis, Part 13. Let's go ahead and get into this. As each mile of the parched earth draws them closer to the distant city, the sense of foreboding increases. Like an icy wind from the east, chilling their blood, their bones, their hearts. The old mutant grows ever more silent, muttering under his breath, and even with even the two judges, former judges, withdraw into their own thoughts, feeling the terrible power of the dark judges even from this ro- even from this far remote, wondering how two ragged relics from the past can hope to turn the tide against such an enemy, and knowing it is impossible. They begin to meet refugees at first, each questioned in detail, minutia extracted, examined, stored. We got lucky we got out of there before they shut the gates, those poor suckers. The judges go and rot like that, so easy, that's what gets me. We saw the signs, the sky going all black. Well, that wasn't natural. I said that. Remember, I said that to you. Some of them had, some of them did try to stop it. The other ones just gunned down. I saw it happening. I, I guess you can't blame them. They weren't in control of themselves anymore. I mean, those sisters, you just can't fight them. He don't say nothing no more. Sisters got into him. I think he's going to die. Ain't that right, honey? You're gonna die, ain't you? We got out through the undercity, of course. Ben Arnold's right by the west wall. We done exercises down there before. That's what's happening, man. They're They're all waiting in their blocks to die. Waiting for the dark judges to come for them. And... It ain't just four dark judges now. Ain't even six. They got one of ours working for them. Dread himself. Dread. And his hat says, Benedict Arnold, City Deaf. <sighs> yeah, who'd have believed it? The last judge you'd, you'd figure they'd, they'd have got to, but I seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, I'll have a plate of that. We ain't got a lot to go around, Judge. Listen, don't give me trouble. I've been riding hard. Jabba, huh? Hope this isn't the real stuff. The law still applies, even out here. You creeps better know, better realize that. <coughs> Oh, apparently that was somebody else. Sorry. Jabba, yeah, you creeps. You hope this is the real stuff. You know the law still applies even out here. You creeps better realize that. Luciano. Don't remember him. He was before us. Once back in the... Back in five, I think. Yes. Wally squad lost his nerve on an undercover op, returned the uniform, seconded the clerical duties west wall. How's that for recall? Well, no, there ain't no law anymore, Judge. We don't have to listen to you. You lost that right when you started taking orders from Judge Death. You see me taking orders from Judge Death? No, not you, but... Then shut your mouth! Ugh. Hey! Wrong move, creep. Looks like I'm gonna have to waste one of you to make an example to the rest. P- please That's enough. Drop your gun and step away from it. Well, well, we got ourselves a hero! 
If you get the feeling you mute, if you get the feel beauty, life prepared you just for this moment. The next one's through your thick skull. Strip off. S strip. You heard me. Any judge with anything left in him would have stayed to fight. Not you, Luciana. You ran. You were well placed for it on the west wall there. Who are you? How do you know so much about me? Your voice. I... Your... But you can't be. Grud. You don't understand, Dread. You don't know what it's like. Those sisters crawling around in your brain. I understand perfectly well. Get out of my sight. I'll keep the bite. But where will I go? Not my problem. Just take a hike and don't ever let me see you again. And don't think it's a long walk either, Luciano. You're off the roster. That's official. <coughs> Took a chance there, did you? There, did Joe Dredd. Now, if it had been me, I'd have put one right through his yellow heart, safest way. Didn't want any holes in the uniform. So this Kraken is your clone brother, huh? You reckon old Silver gave him your badge? It's the only way I can figure it. I thought I'd put an end to Kraken, the Kraken problem. Obviously not. You won't look too good on your record, Joe, having the dark judges in the family, so to speak. That's a strong bloodline. If they can uh, twist them, you gotta wonder what you and I are gonna do in this, to fight these devils. I know her accent sort of started getting back to Mega City 1, but that's just the way I'm gonna do it, okay? Just deal with it. Yes. Still, that doesn't stop us trying. Not a bad fit. Eh? <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? <laughs> you want to get a load of yourself, Joe. You know who you look like? Judge Death. Let's hope it's not an omen. Next program... Back in the Big Meg. Well, okay. I guess we'll uh, see what happens back in the Big Meg. Until then, thanks for watching.